Hey guys, Original Borris here, uh, back again for another movie review. I'm going to go ahead and uh, review two movies here today, uh, one on VHS and one on DVD. Uh, first one that I watched is definitely a classic. I always loved this movie growing up. Several years since I'd watched it, but I really wanted to watch it for some reason. I had the urge to check it out. And uh, it's been so long, I couldn't really remember the details to it, but I really enjoyed watching it again. Uh, not as scary as it was when I was a kid, but still pretty good. That's Stephen King's Children of the Corn right there. Really good movie. There you go. There's the back. Uh, this movie stars uh, Linda Hamilton. She's the uh, Sarah Connor. You know her from the Terminator series. Right there. Another one. And of course, this was an old rental copy. It says right there, got to be kind and rewind. So yes, I did rewind. Um, but pretty good. This movie is about uh, this these kids that they're in a small town. And uh, there's this new kid that is in town. His name is uh, Isaac. And he has gone to this town. He's sort of poisoning the, uh, the kids' minds that uh, he, uh, somebody, somebody's coming and they call him he who walks behind the rose. They're supposed to kill the parents because uh, the kids are, I guess, once after you're 19 years old, you have to sacrifice yourself to this this uh, god of theirs. Um, but it's per they, these kids end up killing all the parents in the town, and they're complete religious freaks. Their minds are poisoned by this Isaac guy. And uh, th there's this uh, couple there played by Linda Hamilton and uh, the guy who plays her husband. I'm not really sure who he is. But um, he, they're driving through town and they accidentally hit a boy. So they're trying to get help and they end up in this town. And the kids end up uh, finding them and they kidnap the, the woman and they want to sacrifice her to their god. It's coming up where this, they have to sacrifice somebody. And um, so that's... It, it's pretty interesting, pretty good movie. It's very... Uh, Kind of tackles a, in my opinion, kind of like cults and religious, religious cults is what this movie is attacking or about. Um, but it just it has just these this leader, like I said, who's poisoning these kids' minds. He's making them believe that they have to do certain things. And this couple comes into town and they're trying to, they're just trying to get help at first. But then eventually they're just trying to find their way out of this town. So it's pretty good. There's a, a guy by the name of Malachi. He is played by a, 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 an actor named Courtney Grain. He was in Can't Buy Me Love. He was in The Burbs. He was in Colors. Uh, he was in a lot of movies in the 80s. And uh, he plays the the creepy, the scarier uh, kid in this movie, Malachi. And uh, he's trying to take over from Isaac. But um, pretty good movie. Like I said, I've always liked this movie. There's a bunch of sequels to this now. I think there's like nine of them before. I had previously said there were seven, but there's actually nine of these. I looked it up, and I think they're making another one, like the remake, I think it is. From what I've heard, I don't know if that's if that's really happening, but I heard somewhere that they were making a remake. But pretty good movie. Um, a lot, like I said, not as good as I thought, or as scary as I thought it was when I was a kid. It'd been a while since I watched it, but it was still pretty good. Uh, at the time, this was uh, something original. But by the horror master himself, Stephen King. But Children of the Corn, check it out. This is the best, the original is the best of the series. There's been a lot of follow-ups. Uh, like I said, there's nine of them. I'm not a big fan of part three. I'm not a big, big fan of part six. The other ones were all right, but still pretty good. Children of the Corn. Uh, the next one that I watched was a movie that I got out of the five dollar dollar bin probably about a year ago But I haven't been able to watch it. It's based on a true story About 400 young women in Juarez, Mexico that have disappeared and nobody knows whatever happened to them The movie is called Juarez, uh, Mexico right there Based on true events The storyline sounded good. That's what caught my attention and wanted me to pick this mo movie up but honestly, the movie was complete crap. I thought it was a waste of my time. It's very low budget, and I like low budget movies, but I'm more into like the low budget horror. It seems like any other uh, movie that's like low budget, like drama, comedy, 
action, stuff like that. I just can't get into for some reason. I, I didn't know this was low budget. The storyline sounded good and caught my attention. You know, I've been to Juarez, Mexico lots of times. I know there's a lot of crime going on in that city. I know when I was a kid going to Mexico, I, um, we would run into cops that they would pull us over for no reason and my dad would have to pay the money for them to let us go. So I know that there's a lot of corruption in Mexico because I've seen it myself. And um, they will make you vanish. They will take you to the mountains and beat you up. I've seen it myself. So this movie caught my attention, but it's complete crap. I couldn't get into it. I, I watched the whole movie, but I had to like stop it a couple of times and just like got distracted doing other stuff. But the storyline sounds good. The 400, 400 women disappearing, true story movie of uh, what actually happened. But the fight scenes are complete fake. The acting is complete crap. It's a, it's a waste of time. Just being honest, maybe some of you out there will like this movie. Um, like I said, I it caught my attention because I've seen this stuff myself in, in person. But, so, just being honest, I thought it was crap. So, Juarez, Mexico. Uh, so I watched Children of the Corn. Juarez, Mexico. Classic. Complete crap. That's pretty much what I think it looks. So, right there. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Bye.